Yeah, episode 100, ladies and gentlemen. You be episode 100 in the building, motherfucker. Ooh, share, 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 like. Let's get it going. Um, cutting a promo this week, as Olski called it, we're in our bag. We're in our bag this week. Uh, Definitely, we're in our bag. As you can tell, we have a new um ring right here. Is Daniel Bryan's penetrating Brock in the ass? <laughs> <laughs> every wrestler's every wrestling fan's dream here. Well, I, <laughs> <laughs> every wrestling fan's dream here. Good call, buddy. Good call. <laughs> Thank you, sir. No one, no one could have called that in the back better it, than it's that. It's called the anal lock. <laughs> Yikes. And, and as you can see, Al Bundy with his Polk High jersey is actually refereeing. And, 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 and Al Bundy finally has a home, and he won't fall because he's leaning on the turnbuckle. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, make sure to share. Um, I'm I, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys. You can't call in during uh, cutting a promo. Uh, wait, can they? Yeah, they could call in. They, right. I, the number's there. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it. All right. So because I, I I want you guys to also share and also um tell us your stories or what you guys thought. Yo, Rondo, good looking, bro. 100. Thank you, brother. Another guy who's been a part of our show for years. Well, we'll, your your shout's coming on the show. Don't worry about it. Um, call in. The number's there. I'll let you guys know when to call in. Uh. Just to, to uh, give you guys uh, freedom of just to say what's your what, what did you like about the show? What you like about what do you want to happen? What can change? Maybe? What's gonna happen? Uh, any memorable moments on the show that you had? Yeah. If you were, Ultimate, everyone's gonna say Ultimate Warrior when he flipped out. If you were a part of the show, did you enjoy it? Uh, what do you want to see in wrestling coming up soon? Like whatever, man. Like shit. Like fuck it. We're about Sweat run eye, one eyebrow. What up? What up? We there in the building. So guys, Ray, gonna play Hermanos. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Ray. Big shout out to you as well. Yeah, sir. listen, Kung Promo will be shouting the whole crew out, man. Yeah. It's coming. So we're gonna be playing our uh, new commercial this week. Hey, we got a new commercial. We got a new commercial this week. Um, not even Oski knows that I got this. Oh shit! You didn't tell me. No, 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 no. This is a new one. Uh, who sponsored us this time? Uh, wait a minute. Hold Rondo on. said that time Rondo got drunk. Oh no, Rondo said that that time Rondo got drunk. Did he get drunk here before? I don't know. Did he? I don't think so. Uh, Please call in and recall that moment, Rondo. Like uh, during cutting a promo, if you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to know what that was. Because <laughs> that is that is something for the for the. The number the, is below on the video, but the 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 the, 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 the service is not on right now. Once yeah. cutting a promo starts, the will will the the floodgates will open for you guys to call in. Yeah. Listen to the to the commercial. I don't even know about, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, let me see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're about to play it right now. So, uh, guys, uh, please enjoy. Please, 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 please love us. Do you miss Do the you days miss of the old, days school old school wrestling, wrestling. when men, when women, women, chickens, chickens. Dolphins. dolphins, individuals with three fingers? Six toes and possibly three nipples squared off in the middle of a ring. Are you missing the days when we don't talk about people's contracts or people leaving because they're nothing but because they miss being at home, missing their family? Not getting a warm meal, not being able to take a in a proper bathroom. Well, guess what? The return of G A W God Awful Wrestling has made its triumphant return. Are you tired of sissy promos? Backstage segments that makes you think about whether or not you took a or not. Are you tired of new promotions who say they're going to give you something better and new and don't give you? Well, bring your ass down to God Awful Wrestling. G A W. The wrestling promotion that tells you straight up in line. We are full of shit. Making its triumphant return to Curly's Fries and Shrimps parking lot 
in Weehawken, New York. G A W pulls no punches and letting you know that our matches are full of. For example, our first match will be the chicken coop match, where two chickens enter the ring, one will leave. The winner, the winner and the other, the other will be dinner for dinner the fans. For the fans. Next, up Next up is a woman's hair versus hair, versus hair, hair match hair. where the loser, the loser has to shave has their, to hair. their hair. Their pubic hair, that is. The next match on the card is a money in the bank match. The winner gets his child support revoked, and the loser pays off the rest of his child support fees. Last year's winner got off scot-free, and the losers had to pay five years of child support in which the winner ignored. Good luck in paying for 12 kids Four of them weren't even his. And in the main event, two men enter the square circle. One lead standing on their feet in a last men standing match. Rather they two duel in the arts of grappling. Both men sit in the middle of the ring, knocking down bottles of Jack Daniels. The loser leaves out on a stretcher. On the card, you will have such wrestlers as the Red Rooster, the Brooklyn Brawler, the Yeti, Oz, Stephen Armell, Joe Perry, Billy Joel, Hardcore Bob Holly. Two Cold Scorpio, Daphne, Bob Backlund, Bob Backlund Jr., Bob Backlund Jr., Jr., Aldo Montoya, Max Moon, the great Collie, the not so great Collie, the somewhat mediocre Collie, the fabulous Moolah. Yeah. We know she's dead. May Young. Yeah, we know she's dead too. And many more. Especially the one, the only, Terry Funk. Hey guys, once again, it's Terry Funk. I'm glad they're going to give me time on the mic to tell you guys. Welcome back to Great of a. Uh, where are we at again? It's. Uh, oh, what promotion is this? Oh, I'm sorry. It's. Uh, it's uh, Terry Funk at. God awful wrestling. G A W. Tickets are available at any Ticketmaster that's not in a major city. Most likely it's going to be at a 7 Eleven or your local 76 gas station. God awful wrestling is brought to you by. Darren Buckle Tabloid. This is Hank Flanders congratulating. Turnbuckle Tabloid and Jay Sante on a hundred. That's right, one zero zero. C no Ben Franklin. One hundred episodes. Keep listening. Turnbuckle Tabloid is cutting a promo. I really guys, I, I have a drop, and I keep forgetting to put the drop for for cutting a promo. Yeah, like I, that was a drop. Yeah, that was a drop. So, so what are you talking about, man? No, yeah. Oh, Forgot about that. It is what it is. <laughs> Guys. Even though Facebook, I just saw you screaming <laughs> exactly. out loud. Exactly. Like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Guys, uh, this week's episode, we're going to be streaming uh, the big majority of it because we, like we didn't Hank. give you the intro. The only thing you're not getting is Hank, which yeah. you can probably yeah. go back on Facebook and look at that, Hank too. Hank in the intro. Hank, but, yeah, Hank uh, in the intro. For cutting a promo this week, we have uh, We're in Our Bag. But before we go into that, I just want to say that for this week's episode, you'll be getting... Uh, the cutting a promo, as well as uh, what we watched in wrestling this week, as well as uh, wrestling rundown. 
Damn, but it's you gonna guys be are getting a lot. Yeah, you guys so. gonna get a lot. We're gonna give, we're giving you a lot for for episode one hundred. Red, Red called me about that, and I was like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but it's an episode one hundred. Uh, yeah. I wanted to have like party hats. Oh, that would have been cool. I would have. I wanted to like throw streamers up and all that shit. We too lazy for that shit. Yeah, exactly. Fucking. I'll throw pork grinds in the air. <laughs> exactly. We might have a visit of certain individuals. Who people call that. So, guys, uh, uh, you guys want to call the phone in? Open? Yeah, hold on. Uh, give me a second. Let me just. Uh, and no, I don't think Grego's calling. He's like, I actually told no, me. No, 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 no. He's not calling. He's not calling. He's not calling. He blocked him. We bought him this week. Actually, I did. I did actually put him on block this week. So, guys, all you, right, good. You have free reigns to call in if you want to share uh, your thoughts about wrestling as well as your thoughts uh, about Terminal memory about Terminal the tabloid. Maybe memory congratulations. Terminal, yeah, whatever it is that you guys. Uh, Whatever the fuck, we'll, we'll, we'll get it. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> number is up. It's right in the bottom of the screen. Uh, 315. Uh, one second. Uh, 315-37. Uh, excuse me. 315 371 You can call in if you want to call in. That is 315-371. We have hot sausage. Four, three. You didn't cook that for dinner. Oh, right, hey. somebody's already calling in. And I don't think it's Grego this time. Let's take the call. Hello? It's Rondo. Hey, Rondo, Rondo, King of the Ring. Rondo, Rondo, King of the Ring. What up? What's up, sir? Thank you for calling in. Once again, one one of the guys who big participant for episode 100. Thank you. From the TRSS days. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, Wow. Uh, Rondo, I missed so- your sexy voice, man. And I'm sorry that you didn't win uh, for for a song of the year, though. You, you had tough competition this year. Wait, say that again. You didn't win for 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 song of the year. It was okay though, because you were runner up. Uh who won? Oh, if you, if you I mean, oh, you didn't hear? <laughs> you didn't listen to the episode. You oh, were you nominee. I'm, I'm about to hang up the phone on your ass, <laughs> bro. You I'm run- watching the video. And- Yo, I'm watching the video, and it's mad lag. Oh, that's all right. Don't worry about it. Fuck that, it. That, that's what they do in any case. Nah, but we... That's we, that we, bullshit phone you got. We had, the, we had the Turbuckle Tabby Awards, and you were a nomination. Um, King of the Ring, Rondo's King of the Ring song was a nomination for so, um, Song of the Year. Woo! And you didn't, well, you didn't guys, win, I bro. I want to congratulate you on 100 episodes. I want to thank you for having me on the show whenever you did. It was an awesome experience. Thanks to Red. Matt, you've been awesome awesome co-host the one the couple of times that you and me hosted alone it's been great man i love you guys and everybody should listen to turnbuckle tabloid i'm make sure to throw it up there for all my people out there oh you please guys do. kick ass man by the way are we gonna see you tomorrow at a house glory yeah absolutely oh, oh it's about to be a problem i'm bro. gonna grope you like you're <laughs> like the, you're, i'm gonna grope you like the latest supermodel oh i can't wait thank rondo you, thank you so much for the love man listen Turbuckle Tablet wouldn't be Turbuckle Tablet without the people around us, especially, uh, especially a, a you, sexy individual like you, sexy, you sexy beast. Rondo got the sexiest nipples I've ever seen in my life. Yo, that shit gets me. Uh, oh, well, thank you. Thank you. It's me, Rondi. Thank you, sir. And we will be looking up. Uh, we'll be hooking up. I, I, I got to talk to Maddie because he's the one that gives you the pass. You got to come on back. You can come back, back on the show soon. Oh, I'm talking Yeah, man, I'm, absolutely. I'm talking Listen, I'll, I'll come through whenever, man. You guys let me know. Um, as far as the story goes, my favorite story was the time that. Uh, that uh, Maddie just kept going off about uh, about certain dick pics being taken in, in uh, amazing backdrop. <laughs> he literally for for what like. 10, 15 minutes naming off all the backdrops where he was going to take this pics. And have <laughs> that was like episode days. four. It was like back when I said, that, that was when I said, remember, remember I, I, it was in I, a ring with Brock Lesnar. I, di- I sold my dick pic with my with Brock Lesnar giving my dick a, a German suplex <laughs> and my dick in the jungle. <laughs> and and plus, he was going to put it in front of the Taj Mahal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's in front of the Leaning Tower of Pisa or some shit like that. And please, and please, show Rondo love and also. I thought it would be the Leaning Tower of Pisa. You know? Rondo. A little bit so <laughs> Rondo, what's your what's your latest um Instagram name? Oh, it's uh Rondo underscore Shackleford. <laughs> Rondo Yo, Shackleford. if you see his Facebook. Also, also, I'm gonna throw it out there. C G Y M underscore official. Come get your man. All right. Oh, I, I love that. Yes, yes, I do. Oh, I fuck I love, with that. I fuck with it, yeah. So Oh no, no, no. Come get your man's. It makes my day every yeah. fucking day of the week, son. Yo, those haircuts. I should be on that with the haircut. That's haircut do you, I got. Do you plan on doing something different with the haircuts, or are you gonna do? Are you just gonna you gonna keep it with haircuts? Are we gonna do outfits and stuff like that soon? Yeah. What? Are we gonna do? We're gonna do clothing as well. We're gonna besides haircuts. 
Oh yeah, that's coming up in the future. So right now we're just doing hair for now, and then I got I got I literally have I literally have about five or six months worth of material taped up. Oh, I can't um, wait. The past the past week or two, I've been kind of preoccupied with everything, but it's gonna come back up. I got it going out there. And uh, Maddie, if you don't be careful, you're gonna be the next one up. Listen, huh. with the last haircut I got, I'm surprised I'm not there already. But once again, thank you, brother, for being a part of Turbo Cassandra. Love you, Rondo. Love you, brother. And anyway, we'll talk to you again thank soon. You tomorrow. I- I love you guys, and I can't wait for the next time I'm on the show. Thank you. Later. Sooner rather than later. Goodbye, guys. So uh, Much love from Rondo. Love Rondo. Uh, you, you, you have hidden beef with him because he doesn't share love for Listen, us. Listen, but now he will because he's on the show. So, right. king so, of the ring. So, um, but it's again, the number is still up. You guys want to make a call? You can't even make a call. So, this is your form. Yeah, spill it. Oh, nah, bro. <laughs> this is not. My, mine has got to be the closer. I got to do it. I got to close out the All show, right, you man. Are, you want, I'm uh, the main event, bitch. You're the Ari Lang? Yeah, I'm the, I'm the main event, bitch. Ari, what, what makes you the main event? Because you, you have shit to spill? Fuck yeah. And plus, you don't know how to talk for, by yourself for too long anyway, so I know I can spill laughter. What okay. are you talking, man? You're, you're running time. Let's go. Let's get All it. All right. All right. So, you know, Turnbuckle Tabloid, 100 episodes, man. Uh, when it comes to when it, when it comes to the show alone... Uh, I'm I'm extremely proud of the show. Me and Red have been doing this for a hundred episodes now, and I could, and you know, the main thing I want to say about cutting a promo this week is that I'm proud I, 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 of our consistency. Consistency is key. Our consistency makes this show what what it is today, man. Uh, I we, me and Red see a lot of these fucking hunky dory podcasts, and, and 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 you know, good for them for what they do. You can't hold a candle to us, son. And that's not that's no shit on you. That's that's the fact that me and Red do this week in and week out, and and the hard work we put into something like this, it, it really it really makes me happy inside. Red, we uh, brother, I don't I, listen, man. It's not like we're getting hitched or anything, but you're, you're, you you are. You are we are, about to touch dicks? You are, you are you are. We can touch dicks if you want. No, no, you are you are family more than some of my blood family members bro like you know this is a brotherhood right here no, no, nothing nothing tops this when it comes to um you know what happens in in the wrestling world or anything in life man right here this is this is not just two random people going into a fucking podcast um what the hell is that I don't know. Is that a c- I'm going to do a line of coke or some shit. What? Artie? <laughs> no, um, but, the, you know, when, when you start a podcast, it, it doesn't take – you don't put throw two random bucks in the fucking ring and you make them and, and you see if they work. So from day one, me and Red have, have been consistent. We've been uh, – at first, you even said it, episode one, we didn't even sound that bad, right? No, I really wanted to bash it. Like, I really wanted to draw up the old fucking stuff that we had. And I'm like, I was already – I was already prepped because I was doing um, regular season sports cast and you sat in for a couple of episodes and you were, I got more comfortable based off like my oh, experience with the baseball show. Yeah, yeah. And other so, shit. I got, I got, I got more comfortable with this schlong in front of my face. And I, and I was grateful because I really didn't have to tell you too much, not what, what to do. You were good. Right. It, 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 I, I really wanted to look to the here, like cringeworthy shit to go. Oh, that sounds terrible. But, but no, it was, we were, we I'll were, give you guys the breakdown, right? I, I don't know if we've spoken about this before, but before the term of the tablet was even supposed to happen, it's okay. Me and Red were not supposed to be the co-hosts of this show. Uh, no, 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 it was not supposed to be that way. Actually, if you guys want to hear the, 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 the deep down, which I, I don't give a fuck, um, it was originally supposed to be who, who Red? It was supposed to be you and um, Whole Milk. It was supposed to be me and Whole Milk, right, Whole Milk, which, uh, you know, Whole Milk, shout out to you, brother, you know, Support of the show for for the longest. I appreciate it. It was supposed to be me and Whole Milk. Something happened. He went to go do his thing, and then it became me and Rondo. Actually, right. It was supposed to be me and Rondo, but then because of ob- obligations and um, you know, um, other shit happened. Red said, "You know what, bro? This is my child. This is my baby. This is my turbo tableau. I've been doing it. I've been doing this on TRSs for the longest. Let me do it." And episode one, I was I was nervous. I was excited. I was nervous, but it didn't even carry over that way, though. It well, really I was didn't. nervous in the fact that I wanted to to make this proud because I know this is your fucking creation, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it really didn't come off that way either. And uh, you know, from 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 becoming from becoming a, a a twenty minute segment on TRSS, I could gladly say that this show is 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 bigger than than anything I ever expected to when it came to if it being a small segment on that show. Now we have our own show, three hitting two and a half hours long every week, consistent. If we have a fan base, we do. We have listeners. I want to give a shout out to a and, few. And, and, my, and thank you because the numbers are fucking growing. They're every, growing up every, every week, man. week, man. I want to give a shout out to a few people just to say thank you. This is my award. Uh, thank you. 
I want to give a shout out to the, that, that that boy who who won the two sweet contest at the fucking at the at the indie show. That was hilarious. But I'm gonna say it straight up. He came to us asking for a job on the show, and what did he say, Red? How many uh, followers you got? How many followers you got? I was like, really, guy? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Like you need to know. I wanted to check his fucking shit. Be like. Fucking follows you guy. <laughs> and what you said, you said, nah, I'm good, bro. You could go. Hey, I was like, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you. <laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> but no. You know how arrogant you are to fucking Right. And especially ask him. me? Him. Uh, he he look uh You don't ask Oski, Oski be like, uh, 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 me? <laughs> the fuck out of here <laughs> next <laughs> <laughs> shout out to him that was bullshit and he sees us at any other fucking show yeah. and he'll still say hey guys how you guys doing how are the followers hey, doing yo, yo you still yo, you still got i still got the two sweet record i still got the two sweet record Get the fuck out of here <laughs> To, uh, my, but, you like my blazer? It's just hot. I, I also want to give a shout out to. It comes out on special occasion. I also want to give a, a shout out to the to the haters out there, the people who, the people who. Um, you always got to shout out the haters. Yeah, the got to shout out. Yeah. I, I'm just I, I, you know, I, I didn't want to name drop, but I want to name drop a few people. Um, no, but you ain't got to. You ain't gonna say my name, but you gonna shout no, out. No, 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 no. Watch, ready for this? I want to give a shout out to everyone who gave us a chance and never appreciated us and never went through with it. I'm talking straight, straight. I don't know if you're going to talk about it, but I'm, I, I want to give a shout to the people who gave us a chance. For, wait, what about the two? One the, the, we, we, we can't, we're the kings of the world. We're the sweet. kings of the world. Well, Red is because he almost gave, he fucking flipped off someone on the train at a House of Glory show, and the guy wanted to punch him in the face. Your middle finger is extremely <laughs> thin. That's weird. Everything else is thick, but it's, that's I got like Jack Skellington. Yeah, thing. yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was going to say that. Exactly. Um. I, here's my thing. You know, I don't have that much shit to say uh, besides how proud I am of the show, but there's one thing I do want to say. There's actually two points I want to make real quick. The first point I want to make is I know we said it a few weeks ago. And I know that uh, there are people have told me to not speak about it, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna, I just want to make it an apparent here. This show has a circle. If you are a part of that circle, it would mean a lot to us to give us love and be a part of the community as well as you think you are. This show would not be you know we're doing great things here turbo tabloid is making waves growing growing each week and i want to let you know something real quick we're making those grinds on our own we are we are making that that's 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 the big thing that makes me happy we're doing all the this growing and, and building up alone we are not yeah people help along the way we're not but we're not sucking dick we're not we're, buying fucking followers I, I, I don't i don't buy we don't buy this is that's, that's the main thing that you know there are many things that i will say about this show this is a this is my, this is my thing our thing man but one thing i want to say is i'm seeing all these other shows buying followers buying merchandise for a wrestler to get on their show fuck out of here bro we've been growing and growing we are on iheart radio damn it and i guess a shout out to motherfucking um Oh, the door's locked. Oh, I don't know how that happened. Oh, okay. yeah, no, no, okay, no, no, keep going, keep, keep going. going. I got it, I got it. Um, straight, up, straight up from our growth, our grind. Oh, hey, hey. Josie's boys in the building. Um, but we've done that growth and grind. What up, brother? Oh, we've done that growth and grind alone. We haven't sucked no beef. Um, I'm seeing a bunch of other shows that I'm not saying wrestling shows. Yo, you love to call shots. I love it though because they no no but, uh, no <laughs> exactly <laughs> he does. That. We know we we sit we sit down on a wrestling show. We're doing our own thing, and then I'm seeing other people go up and and literally are about to deep throat someone for a hello. My name is blank. It's like I, I appreciate our grind because we don't need to. Suck suck a beef to do so. That you know that, that's a, that's a main thing I like about that I appreciate on the show. You know it's none of that kissing ass crap. If we ever if I ever caught you or me kissing ass, I'd sit down and go, "What are we doing here?" Yeah, exactly. Guys, what are we doing? What are we doing? Call it out. Like fuck this. Like what are we doing here, man? Besides that, the consistency is the main thing for me. Uh, every week, uh, every week, no matter what, Red has, as we all know, a daughter. Red has uh, a job every single day, mainly. Thankfully, this is his night off. Grinds every day. To, we, we have things to do on our personal lives, and we still make the episodes um, to happen. There are some times where other shows go, yeah, um, you know, we're, we're going to call it off for a week. Uh, once again, I'm dropping names to a different wrestling podcast, but <laughs> it is what it is, man. <laughs> he is low-key throwing fucking shade, yo. Yes, I can't. I can't. <laughs> He's throwing it, man. It's called in our bag for a reason. 
<laughs> it pisses me off. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Shit, nah. Nah, nah I, I was about to. Red nah, told me not to. No, don't do that. I was about to. Don't do that. Cop! This is, this, is, this is a celebration. It is a celebration, and I'm sure. happy to say. It's a celebration, bitches. And I'm happy to say. But I love the no socks look for you over there because it's very hillbilly. I love you it. look fire. <laughs> and the DX shirt. Exactly. Um... Ooh, you had mad beef though. Okay, slick. No, um, we, we we've had no, though. No, we no, but yeah, but I think this we, year we haven't. But uh, here's my main thing: people. Uh, I humble you. I humble you. Put you in the camera clutch, and I fuck you in the ass. Yeah, humble you. Like Iron Sheep once said. Besides that, man, I'm I'm very I'm very proud of what we've done so far. I, I'm uh, this is this is a celebration, but I'm looking forward to episode 200, man. You know, the the grind only grows from here. Yeah. So that's all I got to say. It's time for Red to open up his spill of beans. Because I know you, you wanted a main event, so this better be a main event. <laughs> I, I, I got to be the closer. You, you, you have to be. I you want, want to be. I want it. a main event. Uh, all right. So um, I'm ready to hear this shit. Cause... No, 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 no. No, it's not even I that. I want to thank God. It's not even that. This is what it is. This is fucking stupid what we do. Yeah, that's wait. What do you mean? No, it, honestly, this is really dumb. What we do, we do a fucking podcast about a fake fucking fighting. Wow, <laughs> is he but, bashing the product? Wait, 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 wait. There's this. Come on, I'll, I'll go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We do a fucking podcast about a fake fucking predetermined matches that have a a a, a, a story that comes straight out of a soap opera. And General which, Hospital 2.0. Exactly. One life to live. Um, young and the rest. All my children. Fucking um, Don't another world. Days of our life. All that shit. <laughs> but we do podcasts. We do a podcast about it. We sit here and talk about predetermined matches about males and females who have the most stupidest fucking beef that could be ever created. True. 100%. And we have a podcast about it. Yeah. It's dumb. It's stupid. Yeah, we're basically talking about what no, we watched at General it's Hospital so this week. Fucking stupid. We could we could actually sit there and have a fucking story. Uh, uh we could have a podcast about what we do in our daily lives, and it'll probably be more interesting than the shit that we do. I can speak Kingdom Hearts. But you know uh, the, <laughs> you know what's the best thing about it? Mm. That we make it more interesting than what it is. You know why? Mm. Because we're a podcast that does bits. We're a podcast that brings in the element of interviews that are more in touch with not only the wrestlers, but in touch with their personal lives, the lives in which they, they, lead, they lead outside the ring. We don't do the hokey, um, well, uh, how do you choose to be a heel or a face? What are, no, we talk about them. We talk about what are they doing outside of their lives. We bring in wrestlers. We bring in guys such as fucking Hank Flanders who comes in and he talks not only wrestling, but he talks about his personal, political, and livelihood like that. We bring in guys like Homicide, who's given us road stories. Oh, who's given awesome. Us great stories. So and this, grateful for that. And this that. is a guy who's, who shouldn't even be in touch with no. not, nothing that what we do. And, and he shows Who's love. been around the world and, and been into, and he on a quick. And he bottling hope. And a quick tap of, of, of my fingers or your fingers to say, yo, can you come on this week? And he'll go, yeah, sure, I'm with it. We get individuals who we just found that we had Drew McIntyre and EC3 on the same video. Yeah. Doing an interview with us. Mm-hmm. And they're big fucking name stars. Well, on, I'm a Drew Mark. <laughs> you know, that's my guy. They're big fucking name stars, marquee stars now in WWE. Yeah. We have guys who come in just out of the whim, like Rondo. We have guys like uh uh, supporters like 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 Ray Ramundo and all those and guys. And weirdos like Grego. And Grego who calls in on and, and, and our guy uh, uh um um one uh, one sweaty eyebrow who who who's always there loyal with us. He's I mean Slick always on the show. Slick is always fucking fam. Yeah. And he does the the fucking uh, the the anti J shit, but it's okay because Ray Ramundo I love it. the whole the whole crew man that comes on every week to listen to But you gotta understand that we are the fucking goofiest fucking podcast who still gets hundreds of downloads and streams a week, still gets hundreds of fucking views and and thousands of views on on Facebook and wherever the fuck we're streaming at. And all we're doing, we're sitting here and I'm knocking out a fucking beer while you're sitting here 
boasting and raving how great you are on fucking video games and also beefing about <laughs> how bad how, upset, that is. How, how mad you're you're upset with the pro- the product that we have to watch every week. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, 100%. But yet, we do it every fucking week. Yeah. And we enjoy it. It's a routine now that I, I'm very, I'm very look happy to look forward to it. to it every week, yeah. And granted, you said that... Um, I have to look at time because I have to pick up Super Producer Sally soon. But, um, but granted, like you said, there's others who fell by the wayside who thought they could do what we do and you don't see them anymore or they half ass whatever the case may be. Yeah, yeah. People don't understand that when you love something, as stupid as wrestling can be for everybody, whenever we sit there and we say, oh, I'm a wrestling fan, and people go, oh, you know it's fake, right? Yeah, you do enjoy The Matrix. You do enjoy fucking The Avengers, right? You think fucking Captain America died in real life? Is that- you think Chris Evans died in real life? It's, it's John. Yeah. Oh, as I as wish. You, as, uh, as much I- as you want to believe that Keanu Reeves is, is, oh. is fucking killing thousands over a dog. Slick goes, it is because you were the only podcast with a super producer. That, no, that's true, though. She brings the content. Yes. It's but it's, also, producer, it's right? also other individuals who come in like I said, and it's it's also the family too. Like Josie's boy just walked in. Another guy who comes in, wrestling fan, who I didn't know was a wrestling fan when we first met, and we find out I was like, "Kismet, beautiful." <laughs> one think- of, and of course, one of um Ric Flair's illegitimate children. Yes, he'll he'll he'll, he'll get it one the day. The core the correlation of just are oh, you a wrestling fan? The answer is yes. It's automatically like, but I don't all know, right, Tom Brokaw and 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 the the joining shows. Has also brought in shows like Call Me When It's Over, brought yeah. in uh, um, the, the 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 now social media stand up, and just you and everybody else. And don't let me go on a rant about you because you were, like I said, you weren't an individual who, who was supposed to be with me. It wasn't supposed to be that no. kind of you. I, I I envisioned this to be just the engineer to let it run and let you guys take it over because I wanted the views of guys who were watching the current product. Right. It wasn't until people didn't understand what was our vision for it. And I said, you know what? I think the chemistry would work better if I get my ass in here and you see the, the elder statesman as myself mm-hmm. and the young buck who hasn't seen a, a, a Nick Bockwinkle match. I haven't, ever. Seen, I haven't seen one. <laughs> ever. Um, you wouldn't even know who Bruno San Martino is but, okay. uh, until they brought him back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, it's so, one of those things, it's man. It's like, uh, do you know who Bobro Brazil is? I, like, I always remember when when we met, uh, me and it was Josie Boy was there too. I, I bought front row tickets to to House of no, Glory. No, no, no. When we met, you guys were sitting in front of us. Yeah, in front of you guys. Yeah. And um, we were we were, we, we stole the show <laughs> as you as per of usual. Course, of course we did. Josie Boy and, and and myself we stole the show as always. And the entire night I was like, these guys are fucking awesome. And you like, was with your crew, and then the next event. They was like, hey, yo, we bought front rows. And, and Maddie was like, I'm sitting with those fucking guys. <laughs> yeah. And I can't get rid of the fucking locust since. The fucking yeah. guy's been around. And, and I appreciate not only, the on, leech. On, not only on the mic, but off the mic, uh, how, much you, how much effort you put in, not only on the show, but just being a part of the family as well. Hell and, yeah, man! And I, I always and I even tell your mother I say your furniture now. It's, it's yeah, it, and, and I, that's when I know your family. And I we've always known as soon as we, 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 same with Josie's boy. I got Josie's boy in a, in a divorce. Yeah. <laughs> I got him in a divorce. Perfect, and it's great that he, he's still around as well. But um, when it comes back to Turnbuckle Tabloid, we put in constant hours on bits. Searching for interviews, searching for content, character creation, which I could give you a bow on that one, sir. Because oh no, please don't even do that. Because the amount of character, no, no, straight up, because no one, uh, um, no one else I know has a gay cookie monster on the show. <laughs> a, a, a fortune. So okay, if you want, if, if if someone else, no, don't even put, no, 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 go back, no, don't, don't, don't reveal too much. Because no, no, it's not revealing anything. <laughs> it, it goes if someone, if someone comes up to you on the street and goes, "Yo, what's Terminal Tablet?" It goes, "Oh, it has a gay cookie monster, a fortune teller, a really weird virgin geek who comes on." <laughs> it's like wow, and we, oh, and we brought Andre the Giant and an Ultimate Warrior back from the dead, from the, from the, and now Ultimate Warrior is in custody of in prison. <laughs> exactly. Right now. It's 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 a, a big thing. I want to. Last thing I want to uh, say is creativity. It's like 
we've we've heard people in the past doing what we do go wow i can't do this no more due to how can we make it interesting every week how can we make it fun how can we make it new right you know what that was the big and i was going to lead to that too thank you for saying that but go ahead continue go, it, it, go it, ahead it, no it's true it's like if you don't have a passion or love for something that you figure that, you know, uh, I'm just going to do this because I'm going to be a fucking clout chaser. Or I'm just going to be a, a lot fucking, of those lately. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm, 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 I'm trying to uh, uh, fake it till I make it. Culture vultures. Yeah, it's like, you know what? Why even do it? Because this is why when the idea for the show camp happened, I already came to the table and I said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make this shit. We're going to do the fucking goofiest shit ever. All right. I, the template was already to do uh, the advertisement, the commercials, and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. And not only that, it was also things to where you have to entertain the audience. And and and, and shout out to just being a fan of listening to, uh, like I said, the Howard Stearns, the Opie and Anthony's, the the. Uh, um, that's what that's what we listen and the learn. Pat- I feel uh, the Dan Patrick's and all that kind of stuff. Not the Zimon and Zoo shit. Not that. Hello, thing. ladies and gentlemen. It's like, oh, everybody, oh, it's. Turbo Tuesdays, everybody hit the turbo drive on your car. <laughs> if you call it and guess this song, you get a free ticket to Leonard Skinner. Yeah. <laughs> like, like that what? kind of shit. No, it's about the creativity, getting things over, getting getting you guys to come back. And it's funny because I always love to hear the response from the from from the the, the listeners because I don't I, I don't have fans, I have listeners, and I appreciate that. It's all 100%. about the listeners, yeah, man. And I appreciate that. The listeners who say, "Yo, that 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 bit that you did, whatever," or that person who called in, what I I that brings more joy, joy. to me than because I know you're listening. Yeah, yeah. And when you come to us and tell us about a specific moment on the show that really touched you or like made you laugh, even yeah, it's like, yo, we did, we did our job for the week. And I always appreciate the new listeners. Hell, the past past week or so, two weeks ago, we had fucking uh, a person from England or fucking Australia. Yeah, Ben. Said they were like, no, not even Ben. The other guy who sat there and was like, uh, uh, your your Yankee accent is cutting through me. Yeah, and I'm oh, like, yeah. yes, it's like we're touching <laughs> yeah. base outside right. of the states. We're getting international now. Yeah, exactly. I have to say that um, it's it's been a joy and 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 so fucking fun to do this every week, man. It's it's not a chore Look, by the law. It's not mean, honestly. Like, you know, it's really not, and I love to go out. And I love to go to wrestling events and everywhere else. Tomorrow we're about to celebrate uh, yeah. the glory. Yeah, man. go out there and fuck around and cut ass and watch someone and who bullshit. Watch someone fucking win again. Win again, women's match. And um, and she oh, looked at Janelle. Yeah? Yeah. She said, "Oh, I'm gonna get butchered tomorrow. Am I not? No, you're about to get buried, B. Yeah, you're about to get buried, boss. I can't wait to get in the ring and I go. Oh, guess who's gonna win this match?" <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I, I, I the before, adventure we've been on, man. Yeah, and before before I go because uh, I have to go pick up. By the way, guys, don't don't go anywhere. Uh, go pitch or something, but you can come back yeah, in a little bit. Pish. I have to go pick up Super Producer. She was at her first uh, junior high school uh, uh, dance party. She Congratulations, was, to Super Producer. Yeah, she, she was out there doing the thing, so I got to go up there and be daddy to make sure nobody messes with my daughter before there's gonna be a problem, son. No, the family gonna be there. Uh, but when we come back, we, we're gonna have um, what we watching wrestling this week as well as wrestling rundown. So um, I know I'm not gonna be able. You're not gonna be able to share it because it, Facebook is not gonna allow us to do Wait, it. Wait. Um, oh, we can't do that now. No, no. No, you know, I, I was gonna say if you want to keep it live on, you could let them listen to the Hank Flanders thing on the thing, but you can't do that, right? Oh no, I can't. Actually, that's a good idea if you want. I, I'm down. That's with that. great. You know what? Great idea. I see the wheels are turning. So this is what we do. Yeah, exactly. It's turning since episode forty. <laughs> <laughs> Other that's, forty episodes. That's when it kicked in. Right? Yeah, episode forty. Or hey, something. You're giving yourself way too much credit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Episode 80? Yo, no, no, no. I used to get with Maddie when Maddie would turn to me and be like, yo, I got an idea so I could do promotion. I'm like, bro, this is episode 84. Like, you, <laughs> this is now you're doing promotion. Yo, so I have an idea. So we should make a Twitter. It's like, dude, this is episode 58, <laughs> bro. What are we doing? This is when you were coming with now. You know what you should do? I'm like, dude. No, nah, but the, skit, the, skit, the, the, the segment I have for the commercial for, ne- for next week's show, it was clever, though. You have to have to admit on that. All right, it's gonna you be came funny. up with one gem in like ninety nine weeks because, because <laughs> that's <laughs> oh damn episode one hundred is uh, <laughs> exactly blaming Matthew. <laughs> Frick. No, but I don't like I said the the one thing I have to before I I gave thanks to everybody else. The one thing I have to give is is thanks to you because um 
when there were certain weeks when I couldn't, when I felt I was like, eh, we could, we could bury a, a week. He was like, nah, fuck that. We got this. Mm, no, yeah. no, I'm, I'm coming. When you were too busy and I said, you know what? We'll scratch it or we'll, we'll, we'll do it. He was like, no, I'm coming. If I got to do it over the phone, we'll do it. We did it over the phone. What, we'll- and I have to say, honestly say is that um, I've had co-hosts in um, TRSS with the regular season sportscast who've come and gone and you've come in and, and you stepped up and you fucking made it fucking possible for me to do this this every week. Thanks, man. And I thank you. And, and, yeah. and if it wasn't for, for the ambition and drive that you have for that, even when I said that, don't worry about it. You got homework to do. I'll do it by myself. And he was like, "No, fuck that. I'm you're not you're not leaving me out." Yeah, no way, bro. And I I gotta thank you for that. And also, I I gotta no thank you because, um, you've also made it possible for me to love wrestling again. Because whenever I sit there, oh, I'm shit, like, thank you. Fuck bro. this. You be like, oh, did you watch Raw this week? It's god awful. I'm like, oh fuck, I gotta watch. I gotta now. watch. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I think what? <laughs> even when it's bad, it's still good. I look forward to the phone calls we get after Raw. Exactly. Like, Yo, did you see that shit waste of a show? <laughs> Even when it's bad now, it's the conversations that we have spit for spat just make it shit. make it funny, man. It, Another person I'll, I gotta give a big shout out to, and he just he just joined it right now. Um and I I, I really gotta roll out quick. Is um that punk Isaac. Big shout out to this fucking punk, guy, yeah, man. man. Yo, Dude, this kid you see is the number only... underneath our thing. Do you see the fucking logo on the right? Yeah. He introduced us to that. This yeah. fucking this new shit that we have now, um uh the graphics that he put up, he's the graphic for for our show. He's a fucking he left. And he and fucking prick. <laughs> he also but you know what? And now he probably fucking died out or something. Because he's he was waiting for this. Yeah, he was um, hype. He was hype. Uh in uh, music wise, he's brought content. He comes in and show he's hooked us up with different promotions and stuff. He, brought us in. The opportunity to he's even commentate done, uh, exactly ICW for even a show and was a blast. He was the gateway for us to do certain things and certain fucking promotions and, and got go to sit for free for certain places. Um, <laughs> well, I, w- I would like to thank someone else for that, but I can't right now because he's still in her employment. So yeah, much. exactly. But uh, other than that, thank it's you. like uh, I gotta say, big shout out to that punk Isaac. I would call him guy. Super Engine. No, 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 no. I'm gonna call him um Isaac the Engineer. Isaac the Engineer. Yeah, he's the- um. Great, great, uh, great. And he's great a part of the Turbo Tablet family talented as well. Talented boy, too. Got, got, the kid is talented, man. Uh, don't give up on your dream, bro. Keep it pushing, man. Oh, also, like course. I said, you got the Rondos. You have Slicks. You have Ray Ramundo. Ray Ramundo is a guy who's always watching constantly. I always remember when he called in and said about the whole, we, we kept putting big in the fucking thing. <laughs> he was a good sport he's about it. He's a great it. sport about it. Uh, Home Milk Mike, as much as we gave him heat <laughs> and all that shit, he got it's mad heat jokes, with us, but, he, but it's all family. He's still a good guy. Um, do you want to thank someone else? Who else? A part of that crew? Uh, oh, uh, I, I, uh, who else? Even, even as much as we're not probably not even speaking right now, uh, uh, Brian XL and also the family at House of Glory, those guys come through the door and showed us love, especially the Anthony Gang Gomes. The students, man. The students, the wrestlers from there as well, they gave us love. Like I said, big shout out to Homicide who takes um, his time out to, 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 call, to call in and give us his, 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 his take on what's going on in the road and all that. Um. Wow. Who else we got on there? There's been a lot, man. Um. Uh, I'm gonna thank um New York Wrecking Crew. Wrecking mm. Crew. Uh. Shit, man. We need more women. Where the ladies at, bro? Well. Uh, what? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Zonia, for that one interview. <laughs> How's T-Mobile, bro? Um. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, and um. Violet, you want to come through? Yeah, I mean, yo, Violet, uh, yo, take over, B. And um, other than that, and of course, biggest shout out of them all before uh, we, we call it out for a night. Not for the night, but for, for this. Well, we're we're going to do what I said. We're going to listen yeah, yeah, to the yeah. Hank I'm, thing. I'm put the Hank thing on. Big shout out to, of course, Big Rich at RageWorks.net, man. Guy. Oof, um, that's, a, that's the biggest thank you we got to give, man. If it wasn't for you and the opportunity you gave, and thank you for not doing wrestling on your segments anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for. Well, he um, saw bigger things for it. Well, yeah, he wanted to do something different. It was something bigger for uh, the 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 website and for us. And look and what he, it is and now. He put it to sleep. But I have to say, thank you for giving us here the opportunity to talk wrestling and to talk um, what it is that we love and be able to talk shit. As I, you know, you know, one more thing. And big shout out to Cheeseburger. That's what um Isaac. Cheeseburger. Said. I just said. You know how you said uh, I helped you make uh, love wrestling again. This show made me love wrestling even more, and, and again as well. Uh, you know, there, there was a time, there was a time in 2012, 2013 when I was like, "Yo, I'm done with wrestling. It's run its course for me." 
And the second that I went to the House of Glory shows and met you and all that shit, it was like, yo, this shit's fucking awesome. So, uh, guys, it, so uh, it, it revived me some in somehow, some way. So once again, thank you to Big Rich and the, and the family at RageWorks who believed in us and believed that we can do it and, and continue the wrestling love and fan base that we have with the stupidity and the dumb shit that we The people who in. stick close to us. Cool Game Monster! And all that shit. So, guys. Yep. Uh, what an episode, guys. I, but we're not done. We still have a lot left in the tank. Gonna stream the um the, the Hank interview. That's a good one that we could go with. Hey, you want to give him the whole episode? Give him the whole thing. So, we could do that. I'm gonna go pick up Super Producer Sully. So, uh, Hank is gonna be coming up to you guys. You guys uh, don't go anywhere. Stick around. We're not gonna be sitting here. I'm actually. Oh, go my over. chair's gonna be. I'm not gonna be there. We're sitting next to Josie's boy. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, um, you'll just you'll just be hearing the the interview. You you can watch the match as well. But guys, don't go to stick around. We <laughs> will match. return. I'm gonna change the the way they look. Uh, so he uh, he works in uh, sexual harassment, and uh, he um he gets to use his discretion about um you know uh, just about sexual like you, you know you can't uh you can't sue your boss because he called you pretty like oh you look pretty today you know you can't sue anybody for that <laughs> no like because it's it's frivolous at that point you know mm-hmm. or i lost my 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 boss fired me i want to i want to you know i want to make a claim that's funny because um I was listening to, I've been doing a lot of uh, uh, research for the podcast, which I want to, I want to talk to you see if we can stay a little while longer because I want to get you for a social media podcast, for the social media stand-up. And um, there's, there's, I was doing a lot of research on, on Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony had uh, Patrice. Patrice God rest his soul. He was so great. And Patrice O'Neill had this, this whole conversation this whole discussion about how women can't be sexually harassed at work. You don't think so? I and I, I've heard a lot of his stuff. I I didn't I didn't hear that one. But his process was his thought process was you coming to work and you already know how you're dressed. It's not like you're coming into work wearing fucking overalls and right. you know, you're coming to work like what is what what is showing cleavage? What what is that for? Like what what's the purpose of it? I got into an argument with one young lady one time. Uh, she said, oh, you're just staring at my chest. And uh, I ran into her again with a buddy of mine. And I, I told him the story about how like um, she was upset or all that stuff because I was trying to take her out. And he said, she has her, like, she's, she's got a nice breast. I was like, yeah, she has a great, she has a great breast. And she's like, wait a minute, she, he was, uh, she was upset that you were looking at her chest? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, how could you not? Like you, they, she's drawing attention to her breasts. Right. You know, you're making it prevalent for you to show it. Dave Chappelle had a great bit about that. And he goes, Hey, listen, women deserve to be respected, you know, uh, you know, and they shouldn't be harassed for what they're wearing. You're not a whore for what you wear, but you are wearing a whore's uniform. Right. And I'll give you an example, right? Say there's a crime, right? I'm walking around in a, in a, in a cop, you know, and a cop, you know, he goes, women go, just because I'm dressed this way does not mean I'm a slut. And he goes, that's very true, lady. That, that's very true. But you're wearing a slut's outfit for, you know, if there's a crime going on and somebody goes, oh, well, officer, officer, you got to help us. There's a crime. He goes, whoa, whoa, just because I'm dressed this way does not mean <laughs> I'm an officer of the law. Right. And, you know, it's it's they shouldn't be harassed. They're absolutely right. They should not be harassed. They deserve our, our respect. But when you're dressed a certain way, you have to just realize like, okay, someone's going to look at my ass in these jeans or I'm wearing stockings. So someone's going to stare at my legs right. or like I would. And, uh, or someone's, someone's, uh, you know, I'm wearing this. So it's drawing attention to my breasts that look succulent. Right. You know, and, and, and that's, and that's, and it's the other thing that he spoke, what Patrice spoke about, is like you, you, you're in a work environment in which that it's male dominated. Like right. the, the work in the work is male dominated. So all you have is just men. testosterone. Yeah, and, men. And, yeah. And, and what is their their way to 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 at least show that they could be, you know, some relaxation in such a tense situation, is when you put women in the mix. And then you give them tantalizing freaking when you're wearing a tantalizing freaking outfit. Like you could go to work with a full button up like a man and 
a man is still going to find a way to go, damn, that way that third button is button. Is like, yeah, yeah. Because that's what men and that's what men and women are. Yeah. But he says, Ryan, there's no, there's a line between respect. Yeah, but, you, like, you can't be like fucking nice, nice tits. I mean, I want to grab your ass and squeeze yeah. them until fucking jello comes out. Like, yeah. Uh, he's got to be your like, pussy get wet. You know, that's, that's, rude. Like, that's well, you bad. Know, you know, terrible tablet, but also NTRSS, he's been a uh, writer that for. What, Long time, three, four years already. Yeah, a, so why not have the man himself, the man, just like a uh, your lady love? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you should have seen his face when she she started off raw. The glow. He's like, no, 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 no. We got to rewind that. We, yeah, we, yeah. we have to watch that. <laughs> we have to watch. She's the only washable part of the program. Guys, the numbers on the screen: three one five three seven one four three six seven. You want to call and talk to Hank? See what's going on. We not only talk wrestling. With, Hank will talk about anything. Throw any uh, any. Uh, that's what we talk about in the Hank's Happy Hour. Anything that comes up to mind. So if you want to come in, call in, ask any questions to Hank. Um, the, the, that's why we saw and the, the, the whole conversation off as though we've been sitting. Well, actually, we were sitting here for like ten minutes talking. So we said, "Fuck it, put the mics on." But yeah, it, it's it's funny because just as just as like and I, I I always correlate because of what you've done in history with working with women. It's it's a thing to where what is it that they want? Do they want to be equal? Do they want to be justified as, as a, is it, is it an empowerment thing? We're equal, but we're not the same. We're not the same. We're equal in terms of our worth as a human being, our, our, no, it just has our worth as a human being. We're absolutely equal. Men are not better than women. Women are not better than men. We need each other. Men need women. Women need men. And that's fair to say, you know, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, it's a very frustrating topic because it's not just fair to say, it's right to say that men need women, women need men, you know, we don't need no man. Yeah, you do. Just like we need women. We need women. You know, we need women to balance us out. We, you know, men need women to balance them out and women need men to balance them out. All right. And the mating game is very interesting because no, women shouldn't just be an object of your physical desire even though that's what what we see we're very visual men i'm speaking only to men here men are very visual creatures but so are women i don't think a woman would really complain when a uh, when a man who looks like brad pitt let's say right who goes hey you know you really look really nice in that outfit and i'm sure like oh well i wore it just for you uh, yeah. right <laughs> to to a guy who looks like um i i don't know um guy who looks like george costanza you know <laughs> ah, you look really nice in that outfit you know, and, and she's like, Ugh, you know, or ew, you know, or I'm going to human resources. Like, and I had this conversation with somebody about, uh, about this woman at my job because, you know, she, she was talking about how she's having her ups and downs with men. Really, really attractive woman. And I said, you know, you got to you gotta understand, like you just mentioned, men are visual. We are. We're visual creatures. We're very simplistic species. We're very simplistic. We're right. visual. Everything comes to task later on. Whereas with women, they're already prejudging you and then so once again i go with the uh, uh the patrice o'neill thought process and i was like it's kind of true when a man meets a woman he's already looking at the ground floor i'm looking at already what my entry level is that's right. my entry. i'm looking at the appearance that's my that's my my going in with and, and a lot of men make this mistake when it's just like oh she's really hot now he's placed like he's placed himself here mm -hmm. right because somebody told me one time and i'll never forget it um you know, it's we've all pined over very attractive women, right? And someone said one time, you know, she's somebody's pain in the ass. Right. You know, she's somebody's pain. You oh, know, she when, was somebody's pain. She in the was ass. somebody's pain in the yeah. ass, you know? Like they 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 take dumps, they burp, they fart, they make mistakes. They you know, just just like uh just like us, you know. Uh you remember remember the show King of Queens? I love right. that show. Um, you know, Doug, who's this, who's this overweight blue collar slob, right? Who likes nothing more than to drink beer and watch sports with his friends, right? Has this insanely attractive, hot. She's hot. Yeah, de definitely. She's, I love Leah Remini. Oh my god, I she's love her. She's hot and her. she's sarcastic. I mean, he has to put up with what her father in law. But there was an episode last night where, and uh, that's how hot she is that she put up with the father. Well, yeah, he puts up with the father in law, right? But she uh, she leaves the garage door open. They, uh, they, they, she leaves the garage door open and somebody takes their TV, their big screen TV. And this is the nineties where a big screen TV is very hard to take the, the, the big ass TV, the big ass, why, you know, the, yeah. the, but it's, he, it's in his man cave in the garage. Right. So 
she buys him and he's like even then like he gets it's not even like okay honey like, uh, you got i guess you i guess you lost the tv he's like he's pissed he's so pissed like he's like you lost my tv like mm. you know and that's when the initial meeting where it's just like okay she's hot yes absolutely young lady you're very beautiful but what else do you have to offer me what else you know can you offer me a stimulating conversation uh, are you gonna Are you gonna bitch and moan if I want to go to a you baseball really, game? You think men really like that's where they start at first when it comes to because I, I'm thinking, no, that's our problem. That's the problem. It's like yeah, good, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Good. They're like fucking cavemen. Like, I think the opposite level, like I said, when it comes to women it, is when women see that it's just like oh, he just likes my body. You women know? come in. I women, have a brain. women come in two ways when it comes to men. It's it's either you come in entry level or you're gonna be at the executive's office, and that's what we look at it with men. Meaning. Uh, they don't. They they find within what's in you, what you, what you got going on for you, like right, right. on inside. Like that's why you don't see ugly men with. I mean, you don't see uh, um, a, a lot of times where a good looking man is with an ugly woman because it's like sometimes you see that. I'm, where and how? Like how long down the beaten trap? But path has he been like? He's uh, done he's, it all. She must be. She must be doing something. Yeah, exactly. Because it's always the opposite, and you you can see a good looking woman with an ugly man, and you go, "What the fuck is she doing with him?" Because he's got cough, and she they look they look beyond it. Well, it, yeah, they, that's the thing. Women look, look beyond, beyond what what this is. Yeah. Because what people don't understand is this eventually fades. Yeah. You know, and they, even even a handsome older like Sean Connery is a handsome older guy, right? Mm. He's uh. He's a he's a good looking older man, you know. Let's say Sean Connery, check your panties off. <laughs> check your panties off. He's probably off. you know, and a lot of women will drop him. Yeah, it's and, right, um, I'm 80 years old and check your yeah, panties off. Yeah, he, he's still handsome and all that stuff. Mm. Um, but he's not like 20 year old guy handsome, you know. Like um, <laughs> Mark Quinn says, "Hey, from New Zealand." <laughs> <laughs> but it, it leads me to that. That's why I like to kick off the conversation because we just recently saw. Uh, and like I said, you you were a part of uh, um, intergender matches and some of that, and, and the WWE is now. I think we were the first indie to really do it. To really go well, hard especially with it. that time, so many years ago, almost four years ago now. Um, that time when that was really when the fire was lit. When Guys, the, kid, the numbers is up. You want to call three one five three seven one four three six seven. The numbers up. If you want to call and ask Hank anything, like I said, the guy is not afraid to answer anything. When that kindling was lit, you mm-hmm. know, um, House of Glory was doing. Um, we decided to be like, okay, let's uh, let's put Hank in there with uh, with our only woman, you know. And we were the first indie to really do that. And once we did it, a lot of under other indies started doing it, you know. Um, with the exception of maybe Joey Ryan and Candice LeRae, yeah. I think we were the only one do, doing one on one matches, doing one on one women versus men matches. And now they're very popular. You see it on the indies all the time. Yeah, because now you see uh, WWE had the no touch policy, which I always found was awkward because it was like, all right, I get it. I know the whole thing with the whole Benoit shit, and then the really? whole thing. You think it's well, that was, Benoit thing? No, no, of course not. I, I, well, that's part of it, but it's also the thing about you know they selling it to kids and all this bullshit. You know, I never punched Sony in the face. Right. Yeah, you, you you spoke about that. You've never I've really, never punched her in the face. It's always been it was always like grappling or holding her. It's grappling. Hey, you did well, choke her out with a fucking chain though. You know, someone said on that match, you know, uh so there was a comment that said, Oh, it's definitely not over. I'm like, what dude, look, I choked her with a chain in the ring. Like, what do you want me to do? Like what <laughs> And she still what, didn't go out, like, what the fuck? Like, no, someone threw her well, you yeah. know, someone threw her and she she's a she's a tough girl. Yeah. You know, um it's uh it, it, it's it's grown a lot in the last four years, you know, and, uh, you know, the women could do, you know, it's not just in wrestling. It's just the world that women could do everything and women can do anything. And uh, who's to say that they can or can't? I, I, I'm not God. I, I don't claim to be God. I don't know everything. That's not up for me to say. That's up for you as a person. It's like, I can I do anything as a, as a human being? Can I take it to this level or, or can I compete on because competition is is a human trait, but it's a it's a trait really really designed for males because we really compete with each other. Women compete with each other in, in other ways. They they compete for men. Women compete with each other. Men compete with each other. We're just a lot more physical when we do it. You know. I also think that I think it's also a thing to where women like when they're children, like you could see it in children. Men start competing at a very early age. 
very very early well, yeah ours is 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 um we we have to show that we're the alpha yeah we we, we I would, it's either we're animals at the end of the day yeah, kill trying be, to re- kill or be killed trying to reproduce yeah. and in more way in certain circumstances being in the workforce or being in the sports sports whatever it's kill or be killed whereas i think with women it's it's more along the line where we see more of they just distance themselves really from other women. They just, that's what they do. They don't, they can't be in the same arena with them because it's not, it's not a competition. They, they, they do very well at working in a team. Women, women work very well in a team. Sometimes, 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 sometimes. like, okay. Uh, I'll give you an example. How they, how they work. Woman, in a team. How many female friends does she have? A lot. How many of them are close friends? Uh, that, close friends they're all very connected like they like there's blood relation you know what i mean like like her like her net you know she has you know women women uh, when they nest they get together you know what i mean and it's a very close nest. no it's very close traveling plants of the yaga sisterhood yeah yeah, it's a very close knit it's her sister her mother i pulled out that reference her her sister her mother her aunt you know yeah there's family ties yeah family family ties right anything outside is just like Chris Rock said it best. It's just like, you know, I go shopping with her, but I won't trust my man. You know, won't yeah. trust around my man, mm-hmm. right? And and that's because uh, women have always competed because there's just less of us on the planet than there are of them. And that's a good that's a good thing because if there were more of us, then the planet the species would die out. You know, we'd all be killing each other. By the way, Daquan wants to know um, uh, uh, wants to know where's Nikki Heat. Oh, he's doing all right. Um, you you could catch him on his Instagram and all that stuff. I, I I he's he's doing well for himself. He's always he's always had things going on. I think he's working for Disney now. Good man. Yeah, I saw him recently too. He's he's looking he's looking very well. He's yeah. he's always looked well. Yeah, he's looking very well. He's I always said, he's always bastard. I said motherfucker, you still look he's great. He's always Shit. looked well. He's always Fucking looked pisser. well. Yeah. But but the reason why I say is like we we see now that WWE had um you saw everybody was in an uproar with Nia entering the males Royal Rumble. And then um, taking the spots, uh, taking the RKO, taking the 619, and someone had made a, uh, a hellacious fucking uh, response to it on Twitter. On a Twitter. On Twitter. Saying yeah. that, uh, yeah, uh, thank you for WWE for showing that uh, um, you can revert back to your old rules. I'm just paraphrasing, saying that um, it's okay for men to hit women. And it's like, are you, are you, that's f- stupid. Are you fucking serious? I, I mean, seriously. Well, I mean, that's the stupidity that comes with things like that, you know, like, you know, that, that, that's, it, it was, I, I didn't, I didn't care for it, mm. you know, you didn't create, you didn't care for it creatively. No, it's just, it's, it, I just didn't care for it. Mm. You know, it was just like, I, I, I thought it was silly. Like I, I, th- I thought the whole thing was silly, you know, um, yeah, there's a there's a women's division and there's a men's division. You know what I mean? You know, we're equal, but we're not the same. I'm also to a thing to where you ever see that? If you, if there's you, a video of an Emma of uh, an aspiring women's uh, mixed martial artist, right? And she's very good, and she like challenges um, a marine to a fight, right? And he and he whips her ass, right? Okay. And she gets emotional and she won't shake his hand. She was talking all this shit about how she could beat anybody up, and she beat a guy with, uh, you know, military skill, military combat skills, hand-to-hand combat skills, which is on par with, I guess, an uh, an accomplished or or a trained and skilled fighter, and uh, you know, and they were the same height, you know, all that stuff, and uh, he, he beat her up, you know, and uh, again, we're not better than them, you know. Patrice O'Neill would say, yeah, we're better. I'm, bitch, I'm better than you. Exactly. You know? Of course, bitch, I'm better than you. Yeah, but no. I'm no. a man. I'm a man. <laughs> you know, but um, no, I don't think we're better than them. They're just different from us. They're just, they're different. And that's okay. Like, and I don't understand, like, and another thing, too, is I'm not really cool with this attack on masculinity now. You know? Like, well, I, this, this is what I'm leading to as well. That's where I was going with it because it's another thing to wear. I think it's 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 foolish. It's I think it's si- silly. Where, you know, fine, we get it. You know, we're we're, we're the men are the ones who are stronger, whatever the case may be. But it's also a thing to where, 
you actually you're actually de- you're actually degrading women by not giving them that opportunity to be in the same circle as a man, even for a moment. Even you see the Becky Lynch movie, the man, the man. She calls herself the man. Yeah, she calls the man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like we know why she's calling herself the man because it's like, ah, oh, you know, just a, this dude's the man, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's a compliment, right? right? She's like, but she's calling herself the man. Mm-hmm. It's like, yo, I'm the man. You know what I mean? And not like I'm a man. Like I gotta, I gotta, I got fucking balls and weenus. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't, I don't got a, I don't got Franken beans down there. Right. I'm just like, I'm the man. Like, oh, like yeah, yo, yo, this guy's a man. You know. Or this guy's my G, or this yeah. guy's my this. Or that's this. the man over there. Yeah, yeah. that's a man, right? You know, he's a man, right? And, uh, you know, it's it's a cool nickname. And it's stuck, too, because it's like, wow, like, the the confidence of that. To right. call yourself the man. Like, yo, I'm the man, you know? And that's, and that's the thing that I, I think is getting lost with the whole idea of it. Because, of course, you got the, the naysayers uh, for that as well. Uh, Seth Rollins is calling himself the man for a while. He's like, yeah, I'm the mm-hmm. man, right? And everybody's mm-hmm. like, yeah, we know you're the man, bro. She's calling herself the man. And I'm like, whoa, that's cool. You know? Right. That's cool. And um, and I and I see that I, 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 there's a lot of hindering when it comes to that because it becomes I, uh, women are 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 now saying it's like well you know you, 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 I I think it's just wrong to you know you, you're out there just but they try to act like us yeah yeah that's the thing it's just like the the like the these ruthless that's that's man stuff mm-hmm. you know like. Uh, you know when people are like what happens if women would run the world like the population would explode. There was a time that we there was a conversation we had before, like a, a, a few a few weeks back when you was on, where um, there was a study into where women in the workplace being involved with men, it 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 actually gives them the sense of being an equal because why would I have you at work and not have like the same conversations I would have with another dude? I'm actually isolating you by not having you as an equal. Right. If I'm, for instance, if I have my cubicle and I have posters of fucking or pictures of like women in my in the, like calendar. Right. Yeah. That's my workspace. That's where I work. And so, you know, if a woman comes back, it's like, oh, like wow, we got a picture of um, Miss July. Nice. Like, it's, you're, you're part of the team. Yeah. If you walk past my cubicle and you see, ugh, Miss July, you're disgusting. It's like, yeah, it's just like, like, not bitch, wanna... get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Get the fuck, the fuck out of my, <laughs> fuck out of my face. You know, it's so, uh, but if you if you fuck out of here, cunt. Exactly, you fucking cunt. Get yeah. out. Of here. But if, if if you you assimilate and you're fucking part of the team, it makes the the, the fucking the, the 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 connection between men and women better. You know, in the workforce. Here's here's the thing: men need their everybody needs them, but men especially need their own space. We need our own space. You know, it's just like for. Me and my man stuff to be here. Sasha, how many times he's been on the show? A lot. He has his own damn segment on the yeah. show. It's monthly. Yeah, That's so how much he's been Pay on the attention. Show. Dick. <laughs> That's well, I, I didn't say that. That's why it's, I was going to I was going to say something else. And but. Sasha, I've, I've invited you numerous times to come back on, but yeah, yeah. Apparently, you you don't know how to pick up your fucking DMs on fucking Facebook. I've been Bitch telling ass. you up. <laughs> Bitch. So it's no, it's bitch. it's true though. Like, oh, he's a good guy. Yeah, I like Sasha. He's a good guy. Um. It, it 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 becomes a thing to now, especially now when I see it in the, in the wrestling ring now. Like I always hated that fucking move or that fucking that. that There's that a lot spot. of moves I hate. No, but at that spot in the fucking wrestling world where it's, a woman gets in the ring, she gets in a man's face, and she's like, "You can't, you can't touch me, you can't touch me," and she slaps the shit out of him. And it's like, that happens in real life. Yeah, and it's <laughs> that like, happens in real life. I'm gonna have to fucking choke you now. I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna have to, you know, even if I can't hit you like that. What is it like? No, Chris wanna, Rock, like Chris Rock would say, he's like, I'll shake the shit out of I'll you know, shake it's, the shit out of bitch. It's yeah, like, it's, it's it's Bill Berg. He's like, he's like, um, there was no we did we reason to hit a woman. There's no, he's like, really? I could give you 17 right off the bat. <laughs> he's like, you just don't, he's like, there's plenty of reasons to hit a woman. You just don't do it. You don't do it. You shouldn't. You shouldn't hit a woman. It's not fair. And I'll give you an example. Um, I uh, there was a young lady staying um, in my current home. Uh, it was uh, it was a cousin, uh, not my cousin, uh, from um, from back home in Ireland. And um, we were having this conversation about the women's march because it was uh, it was when it was first uh, prevalent in our society, the mm. women's march, right? And uh, someone came to pick me up. The lady came to pick me up, and uh, uh, her friend was sitting in my seat, you know, in the in the passenger seat, the mm-hmm. co- you know, the co-pilot seat. Right. And I was like, "Bitch, sitting in my seat." Did it annoy you? Did it? Yeah, really no, of course, of course, it annoyed me. <laughs> Did it, it annoy you? Sit in my seat. She fucking sitting in my seat. 
and we, we were having a conversation later. We were talking about this stuff. And I'm like, well, you see person, I don't want to say her name. You see person is <laughs> like, if I really thing. wanted to, I would rip you out of the, cause I can, I would rip you out of the front seat and throw you in the back. It's not his and, grandpa hat. It's his cab driver hat. That's his cab driver. Hat. Sasha saying, take that grandpa hat. off. <laughs> what kind of hat would you like me to wear? <laughs> I could wear a white hood, you know. <laughs> you know, Jesus. Oh, you want to wear a MAGA hat? <laughs> you want him to wear the MAGA hat? Is that That's what? actually a really cool hat. It's, awesome. it's a really, it's a really good looking hat. It's bright red. You could see it from miles away. Like, yeah, you can, you can, you can see the fiery that comes out of it. Yeah, yeah. Right? People get so upset. The Make America Great Again hat is, it's just like a white hood. I'm like, shut the fuck, lady. Really, like, <laughs> Melissa Milano. She was once very attractive. She's not these days. Um, she's kind of got the, the, um, I'm heading toward, I need to have children kind of phase. She's, like, no, she's already had, she has children. She has children. She's yeah. definitely a mom. Like yeah, she's, she's definitely, definitely like mom. mom. She's mom hot. That's what she's mom. Oh, she's hot. Mom hot. Okay. Um, she, but she hasn't hit the wall yet. I don't think no, no, not yet. Definitely not yet. Um, yet. she, um, what was I saying? Oh, so, so this cousin from, from Ireland, right? She's like, well, that's why, you know, she goes, uh, she, inter- she interrupts me after I say I could rip you, uh, I could rip this young lady. Guys, once again, the goes, number's up if you want to call and ask the, this, uh, the, this cab driver, the Uber driver question. That's what, that's what they're giving her. They're calling the Uber driver. 315-371-4367. Call in Hank, Hank will answer any question. He doesn't care. Um, it's, uh, no, he hasn't done gay porn. No, it's not yet. Why would you want me to? I'll just, you get it, I'll, just, I'll just get it out of the is, way. Is that, no, 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 is that I, I, no, that was just, no, that was me. I just put it out there. Weirdos. <laughs> well, she said, well, that's why we have women's marriages, Martin, because men think they're stronger. And I was like, I knew it. I knew it. And really? Like, that's like, because that's the only thing she could say. Because I was like, you know, at the end of the day, like I could, I could beat you. I <laughs> could bench you. I could bench you. <laughs> and like, what are you going to do? Like, you're going to do nothing. Like you could be fat and I could still, I could still crush you and even shit. if you could beat me i'm gonna i'm gonna fucking I'm, square up uh, and I'm think gonna, that you're I'm, a man because yeah, you, have, yeah, I'm gonna, you had a sex change or I'm, something. I'm gonna dominate you like and she's like oh, that's why we have women's marches because just men think we're stronger i'm gonna rub your face in dirt and yeah exactly because we can that's the thing like it's just because they don't have physical strength and a lot of a lot of how we measure strength in our society is through physicality physicality yeah, yeah. um you know it's um eddie murphy said it one time he's just like where he's making fun uh uh, when he does raw, uh, was it delirious or raw? No, it's raw. When um, he he's talking about how he's making fun of Mr. T, and he goes, <laughs> he goes, do you not see Mr. T? Mr. T don't look like he can't fight. Mr. T look like he could whip, whip some ass. Right? <laughs> and that's just from him lifting weights. We don't even like okay, he was in Rocky, but you don't know if Mr. T could really, right, really put it down. We, fight, we yeah. could really, we don't, we don't know. It's just a look. But I don't want to find out because right. if I find out, like I could be like. I could be walking home with maybe a broken nose and I could fix it and I could lie to my boss at work and be like, eh, blah, 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 right? Instead of ending up in the hospital. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know? And I don't want to test it. Like, I don't want to test it. I don't want to test it. That's want, the point. I want to test your masculinity. I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to test his giant muscle. Mm. Okay, like Brock, Brock Lesnar, we, we know he could fight, right? Yeah, we've seen it. We, we've seen it. We've seen it. And, um, bro, you know, he really fights like a bully. You ever see him fight like like when he when he's dominating a fight? Mm-hmm. He really does fight like a bully. Right, right, right. Like like he he gets you down and then he starts beating. You. Then he starts beating you up. He starts pounding your face in. Like he wrestles well, like, you to the ground. Uh, he fights like he fights like fight. uh, Ralphie in fucking um the Christmas Story. Yeah, yeah, he fights like Ralphie. <laughs> like fricker, 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 fricker. yeah, but he's the bully. He's like, I'm big. I'm gonna beat you. Like that's how he fights, right? Like um, like you could see like Dana White is right. 